Good morning. Cardio time. For the gym? No, we don't sit gym Oh, okay. Just on your meals? Oof. Is that why you wake up at 7? Is to try to get him in... Oh, okay. Not rush. Yeah. Pretty much wake up at that time anyway. Kind of naturally or? Yeah. Yeah. Did you say 60 grams? Yeah, he ain't... Yesterday was 50, today's 60. Hey, we got an extra 10 grams today. Yeah, very strange. Hmm. Very strange. I'm not sure what the purpose is, but... Maybe we'll learn the method to the madness I'll soon enough. I'll ask him later. Yeah, it'd be interesting to know. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, so that's first meal, second meal is pretty similar, I think. It's... Yeah, pretty much the same thing. Okay. Yeah, just 10 more grams of cream of rice on the next one. Cool. Yeah. Is this, is this the intro you're making? Mm-hmm. You said you were down three pounds? Yeah, yeah. That was from this morning fasted? Mm-hmm. That's when I all the time I weigh myself. Okay. It's in the morning. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Honestly, I like. I think. Honestly, I want to tell them today that like just fucking make that the last post and think. Let everyone think that's someone look. <laughs> Nick strength and power guy. He made a video using those photos, and now like a bunch of people are in my are in my comments saying, "Hey, are you gonna be ready? You think you're gonna be ready?" Oh gosh. Oh, my God. And I posted. A, I didn't even know about it. Some. Some guy was like, oh, this must be the response to Nick's video. I was like, dude, I didn't even see the video. And I'm like, Nick's a cool dude. He's just doing his job. I don't care. You know, I mean, I, I mean I'm mean, i not upset with him. Yeah. Yeah, that's what a lot of people get upset. It's funny. A lot of pros, they'll like a page like Nick's or like uh, who is the best bodybuilder or bodybuilders without borders. <laughs> And then as soon as they push, put up a picture of them in their opinion, then they hate them and they block them. <laughs> so I just got, I was like, oh. a lot of times when they make posts about me, I just don't look at it. Yeah, no, there's people say stupid shit. Exercise number one, incline chest press. Um, one key thing here is everyone's always talking about range of motion. So basically, as far as you can bring down that bar with your own muscles, as far as, far as you should bring it down. Anything past that um, can lead to injury, and that's probably why there's so many injuries when it comes to this exercise. People letting the weight push them further than the muscles can go. So, um, that's probably the biggest thing there. Arm path, kind of mid-range here, not super high, not super tuck, somewhere in the middle. It's good. And just the Smith machine, because I have a ton of shoulder issues, and this um, provides a little bit more stability um, for my body. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's the first exercise for you.
guys are too talented. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We go, shit, I don't even look at myself that much normally. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, first thing in the morning, and then after workout. Home cover removed. <laughs> I was literally just thinking that. I was gonna say something like it. Exercise number two is cable flies. Um, now you can do this on a peg deck if you want to, it's fine. Uh, biggest thing to think about here is just more so just your upper arm, driving this boss up into your chest. You see a lot of guys, they'll be banging the grips together on the peg deck or with a uh, dumbbell. That's not the point of the exercise. Um, and your upper arm has nothing to do with your chest. So basically, just really think about driving the bicep over here. That's about as far as I can go with with everything. Other thing is um, up your upper arm angle. Obviously, kind of like with, we talked about with back, it kind of shows what you're working. The lower you have it, the more you're working like your lower back, mid range, and your upper back. So those are a couple tips there. Um, and yeah. Cool. This is high incline press, pretty much a shoulder press. Um, a common thing I see is a lot of people like to have this chair at a 90 degree angle. There's no reason for that and most people can't get their arms in that position to go completely 90 degrees. Um, anyway, you can go a bit deeper at this angle. Uh, Think of anything else in the way here. Um, yeah, this works your front delts mostly. A little bit of your clavicular fibers in your chest. Uh, great movement for your front delts. A lot of people will say this will build the best exercise to build your entire delt. Not the case. Um, this is great for everything in that upper shelf, more so. So, if you're really trying to grow those side delts and rear delts, make sure you still focus on those exercises. Most people I would say have pretty good front delts already anyway, so you may want to prioritize like a, a side raise first. Um, yeah.
guys. So next exercise is line cuff raises for your side delts. Um, if you don't have this machine here, any type of cable raise will do. Same concept. You're just moving your arm. The reason we do this set of dumbbells is a bit of it's a bit of a better profile. Dumbbells. There's not much weight here, so this is kind of like wasted movement, and it gets really hard when you're the weakest, which isn't ideal. This is a little bit better, so it's pretty. It's probably the hardest at the bottom if you set it up properly, and even if it's not, it's consistent throughout the movement, which is a little bit better than the heaviest at the top and nothing at the bottom. So, um, yeah, all the machines that work good are just like any type of machine will kind of mimic this effect. Cables, standing cable, raises also do the same thing. Yeah, so finishing up with triceps and calves. Just one exercise of each. So we probably so we do triceps twice a week. Just this right here. Flush the reverse push day, which you guys will get to learn about in upcoming up, upcoming video. Um, calves we do two to three times a week as well, just one set each time. Oh, uh, not one set, but one exercise each time. Two to three working sets each time, so. Um, we just do both, super set it, just save on time. There's no like secret thing or anything. Uh, so if you're in a busy gym, just do one, then the other. Push day. <laughs> yeah. Great day. Great day. Great day to be alive. Yep. Solid little workout.
Did we go with the Rice Krispies? Yeah. I ate one. Post-workout meal going down. Alright guys, so uh, chest day was good, post-workout was good, uh, feeling good, just eating this last meal here, not last meal, but <laughs> my next meal, and then uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the workout today, and feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, ask questions, whatever you guys want to do today, and uh, until next time, peace, later.